hanging out with Bruce Pappas. So, Bruce, well, what we uh, what you got for us today? Well, uh, on Kickstarter, about I think it was almost three years ago. Uh, this uh, this uh, hand espresso maker was uh, you know put out as a project, and so I hesitated, and then I eventually signed up. It's called a coffee jack. And so they went to Kickstarter, they went to Indigo, and they had all sorts of problems. COVID happened, and they couldn't, production was all screwed up. But these people stuck with it. Um, Ashley and, well, I forgot the other guy's, uh, the guy's name, uh, the two uh, basically inventors of this out of the UK. Uh, and so I was amazed that they actually stuck with it, and they eventually produced something out of this. So it comes in this really nice box, you know, start with. Uh, with a nice little instruction manual with all sorts of pretty pictures. Uh, but this is the unit itself. And they call it a coffee jack because uh, it reminds them of a jack. So basically you're creating pressure in the machine by pumping. Oh, really? It's pump yep. It's just a pump machine. Uh, it has a basket that also serves as a portafilter, portafilter and basket. And it attaches to the bottom. You can see here's the bottom. It's just basically a shower screen and a gasket, and it has a little, you know, locking just like you know normal port port filter. You turn it in, uh, and basically you, you know put your coffee in here first, add some water, and uh, pump. So that's what purchase. Oh gosh, yeah, you know. It was, it was listed in pounds, and the pound was doing much better back then. I don't actually have the exact number. Uh, it was $100, $100, something like that, maybe $120. So I'm looking at it right now, and the Kickstarter is about 100 bucks. Okay. The, the, I mean, like you say, the, the estimate, the only day was May of 2020. Yeah. So we are, wow, so three years later. Right. And I got it just uh, maybe three week, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Man, so they That's stuck with time it. Wait. That's a long time wait for the manual yep. machine there. Yeah, and I've been burned, you know, like everybody has been on Kickstarter and Indiegogo, but uh, they came through, so I was impressed. Okay, okay, let's so, show us. Let's let's pull the yeah, shot. Let me, show you. let me show you how it's made here. Yeah, that's I, how you I made. Been, I will, I will be, I'll give you a little bit of a preview. I have been playing with this for about an hour. Okay, and, good. And, then, and I didn't even read any videos. I didn't, I just said, let's see if I can do stuff out of the box. Well, I learned a lot by uh, trial and error. So I've yeah. had been watching the video, which I haven't completed, but it's basically uh, most of what I've learned already. So let's, yep. let's go to it. Um, here's the port or the port filter and the basket. Yep. I tried different weights on here. Of course, these are the top, uh, the uh, socket top selection beans that I'm using today. And I found out that I could probably get about 13 in it. Okay. 13, 13 grams. They said go anywhere between 12 and 15, I believe. I settled at 13. So we've got 13 grams. Um, so the two things that they don't send you, which is kind of, it makes it really difficult to make coffee. First of all, they don't send you a tamper. Oh, no so tamper. There, there's no plastic tamper. There is no method to tamp unless you buy their tamper from oh, their no. website. And this is a 44 millimeter. 44? 40, 44, 44 and a half, something like that. Oh, I, no. I measured it. I think it was 44 and a half. And so I wasn't going to wait to, you know, get a tamper from the UK for 30 or 30 bucks or 30 pounds or whatever it was. And theirs is a regulated tamper. So the pressure is regulated. This one's just a regular, you know, tamper. And this is what they use for pods, for re, uh, refitting uh, Nespresso pods and like. So if you have one of those and you want to tamp, yeah. this, is what they, this is what they sell. I got this okay. for like 15 bucks off of Amazon for, you know, for shipping and yeah. that's it. So uh, it does fit in. It does fit into the port filter, thank God. Uh, so let's let's try it here. RDT. Let's see. I'm going to spin this a little bit. I got myself a little a better stand, so now I can actually move it around a little bit better. Uh, on my niche, I, I, I yep. went yep. by normal. I started at 14, which is what I've been using for okay. the stock of beans. 
it, it pretty it was way too much pressure. I went to twenty. It was a little bit uh-huh. too 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 uh, rough of a course of a grind. So I'm setting at eighteen on my niche. If anybody okay. wants to know. So the other thing they don't give you is they don't give you a funnel. And so no you know either. Yeah. So what what they recommend for you to do is to grind it to a little cup and then take a spoon and spoon it into the corn oh, filter. Come on. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what's on the video. I said, forget that. So here's my 51 millimeter uh, mm-hmm. over, you know, um, tamp through uh, La Pavoni. La, La Pavoni uh, uh, funnel, and it fits right over the top. Look at oh, that. Perfect. Well, you know, this is probably more expensive than the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is from Arthur at B. Plus. Um, so can you see how you can? So, yep. Let it go for 15 or the 13 grand. Okay. So that went pretty easy. Trust me, it's not that easy without the funnel. It goes it goes everywhere. And it, you know, it goes way too high and everything. So you know, just to kind of level it down a little bit. And with this funnel, it's kind of fun, is you can actually tamp through. So, you know, leaving the filter or leaving the funnel on, we can tamp through, a little bit of pressure. Here's the one of the things that's really screwy about this. I don't know if you can see inside. This does not do the best of the job. The grinds tend to go kind of everywhere on the outside of this basket. So, you know, a little cleanup. And then, you know, let's clean off the tamper a little bit and uh, let's retamp. Not too hard, just enough to level it mostly. Yep. Okay. So the top comes off. Okay, let's spin it around here a little bit. So the, the this, this part, you know, port to filter fits here. The top fit comes off so that you can fill, fill this with water. Okay, and it's so, a plastic, right? This is all plastic. Yep. You know, with the, obviously some metal parts. They do send you this. And that's, you can buy optionally, which I did, um, a stand. This stand is great for doing pour-overs, too, in case you want to use it for pour-overs. Is that extra and, as well, Bruce? Yeah, that's extra. And I don't oh. know exact cost of that. But uh, they recommend that you, that you uh, put some water through first. So, to heat things up. Oh, my first time doing, not my first time, but you know, it's trying to perfect my system here. So, water on a boil. So, I've got a 100 degree, 100 degree centigrade. Okay. And, and they said just, you know, a little bit to heat it up. Uh, my wife's coming in, so you may hear her come inside. So, if she comes in and talks to us. Uh, and then they say it's like three to five seconds for a pump and then a little back pressure and just kind of warm it up. So it's warmed up. And then set your port to filter on. It's a quarter turn. Okay, there we go. And you're right back on. And so I, I've tried to play, as you know, can I just put the right amount of water in here? You know what? You uh, you'll see. You can't really do that very well. So just fill it up. It holds about ninety milliliters, oh, and you won't need it all. But when I try just to use the, you know, my output. Obviously, I had my pre infusion on my puck, so that didn't work very well. I didn't have enough water. So use a lunar scale just for fun, since we can. Set it on. So so. Okay, so you can actually have enough room to put the scale. There's room to put the scale underneath. underneath with this with this uh, stand. You have to put this right on a cup, and I've got bigger cups down below. But yeah, you have to put it on a cup, and I wouldn't. With the amount of pressure it's on here, they say you can go right into a cup. I've worked, I've busted cups using you know an arrow press before, so. I don't, yeah, you know, I'm yeah. very careful anymore. Hey, Mary Jane. Can I say hello? Yeah, you can come on and say hi. We're live oh, right, right now. 
Want to stick your head in here and say hi to Hoon? Hi, Hoon. <laughs> Great. How about Hello, you? Hello, how are you? I look forward to meeting you Good. Someday. Great. Good to see you. Good, great, yeah, good to see you. Have a, have awesome. a good time. Okay. Sounds good. See you. I'll talk to you a bit. Um, and so I've just been sitting here for a while. I probably, hopefully, it won't screw anything up. Um, so let's go. So you start, they say you can do this in 10 to 16. And it's three and a half. You can see I've already what I'm up to 10 there probably. There it goes. So we've got a first drip. Let's do a little pre-infusion. Okay, and now just a, so, steady, um, a steady. So you go about one to two ratio, Bruce. That's what I'm going to. So I've got 13 in. I'm going to try to get 26 out. I'm still. It's start, the pressure starting to build up. So it comes with a pressurized uh, portafilter. Okay. Uh, you can take it out. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. So you know the uh, crema that we're getting here is really foam. It's not really crema. Yeah, I don't, you know, but that's the way they give it to you. And you can see the water's turning a little yellow. And it's because there's a yep. pressure release. When you go, if you give it too much pressure going down, there we go. There's 20, 24, 25. If you give too much pressure, and there's a release back up. And so it will, um, I'm going to get my scale out from underneath it because they used, I had it dripping on the scale. And so there's the, Espresso that comes out of it. This is 26 uh, grams. Okay. Um, it tastes a little bitter so far. So this is, you know, my first few tries. You can see how quickly that yep. that crema went away. There, I mean, the foam went away. So I'm interested to try it, you know, in a um, non-pressurized basket. I mean, they're very similar to like uh, wakaka, you know, right? The nanopresso type. I haven't played with one of those. I, I think yeah. you have. I have to look at that uh, video. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're very similar process there. But, yeah, how's the cup quality? It's actually pretty smooth. This one's actually smoother than the other ones I was doing before, so I'm pretty happy with it. But, Bruce, do you see yourself using it often? or? Well, I bought it. Again, you know, I'm always looking for the ultimate espresso maker for the sailboat. <laughs> okay, a uh, sailboat. Yeah, so travel, you know, uh, someplace where I can stick things away, you know, on my boat and then pull them out and then make an espresso. So that's why I bought it. Um, I, I'm The jury's out yet. I, I really do want to try it without a pressurized basket on it, you know, see what that does. Uh, but that's, that's kind of it. Cleanup is a mess. So here we go. See if I can show you. Okay, so I mean, is there a hey, Bruce? Is there forty what forty four millimeter uh, filter baskets? Yeah. So let's open it is up. That... You're gonna see. I think the puck's still wet. Oh, it's not too bad. Puck's not too bad. But it's you pretty similar see... to like yeah, similar to flare little... too, isn't it? There's a little divot in there. I'd like yeah. to try a puck screen on it. And so you know, there's what the portafilter looks like, or the. Uh, uh, piston looks like and then the basket you know it's got a little divot on the top here where the water was yep. coming out where the where pressure was coming out so it'd, it'd be nice to try a puck screen on it. i may take one of my other puck screens and cut it down or even use paper try paper first you know use yeah, an you, aeroprint yeah, yeah. filter i mean yeah and definitely it, use the paper it doesn't come out easy i just tamped it on the side <laughs> so you know you have to use a let's see uh, you know, you have to use a spoon to get it out. Okay, oh, I mean, they're, they're very, they're very similar to, like flare, the flare, the filter baskets, in a way. Oh, really? You know what I mean? Show, this is after how many uses now? Less than ten, probably eight. So look at the inside of this basket. So yeah, it's. Do you see these little divots in here? Can you see those divots? I see it. Yep, I it, see it, it there. Didn't, it didn't come that way. They give you – I bought an extra puck. Yep. And so it even has a top so you can supposedly pre-grind and take it with you someplace who would do that. But, uh, you know, it's uh, at least it would be nice to have a second one ready to, to do it. But look how smooth they, they come inside. Hmm. So it's interesting with the pressure. Did I use too much pressure initially? Did that valve not work? Did wait, I wait. tamp too hard? 
I wonder you you, you think you you damaged it perhaps? Yeah, did I damage it? Uh -huh. After eight uses, I don't know. That's so, interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I'm always you know thinking. So if I once the, I'm it's going to be interesting to see how this comes out, and then you know and then the pressurized valve on here that'll come out. And then, you know, will that give me, what kind of coffee will that give me? You know, and do you need to use something else, you know, a puck screen on the bottom or something on the like? I don't know. It's going to be kind of fun to play with. But those are the two. I know. So, and I may write them and say, what did I do wrong? You know, I had this problem with Prism. When I used a Prism the first time on my AeroPress or over time, it also dented. It's just because I'm... I'm so strong. I mean, is, yeah, is that a metal present? I'm sorry, you have the prism, yeah, for my AeroPress? Yeah, I mean, is that, no, I'm talking about the, the uh, filter basket there. Is that thin or pretty thick or what? The basket itself? Yeah. Oh, you mean the screen on the bottom? Yeah, screen. It's really thin. Yeah. It's, really thin. it's thin. I'll take oh, it okay. out and, and we'll, we can do another, you know, live, live on that sometime. So you can have a look at it, but it's pretty thin. If I could, you know, with just the pressure of this thing, if I could dent it that much. Let's see. But you oh. know, what? I wonder because since you are using the pressurized basket anyway, I don't think it's not going to hurt the quality of the cup. Oh, yeah, it yeah. won't. Yeah, it won't hurt anything. Mm -hmm. You can buy this little carrying case too. Stick the whole oh, thing in it. It sounds, it nice. sounds like they sell you everything separately. Uh, they do, they do. They, they, what comes with it is the, you know, the unit itself. You know, with a, this is what comes with it, right there. That's it. That's it. That's it. For a hundred bucks. For a hundred bucks. And they were, you know, during the promotion, they were wanting us. To, you know, you can get a second one for a good deal and everything. I said, I'm not going to give you guys any more money until you prove you can produce something. You know. <laughs> I'm not that stupid. Uh, but I did get a second puck. I bought the stand, I bought the stand, and then I had to buy a tamper. And luckily, my Lapavoni funnel fits over, you know, for grinding. Man, Bruce. Huh. Okay, I mean, I mean, there is a lot of manual machine out there I've been playing yeah. with over the years. I know. Uh, I, I mean, goodness. So, so you waited three years for that one, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost three years. And so, I mean, so, so, what do you think so far? I mean, what is your the real impression? There's a little learning curve on it because I okay. guess I was pressing too fast to begin yeah. with. Uh, once you read the kind of slow it down to three and a half, yep. three to five seconds and the like, I think it produces an okay cup. Okay. I, have a, I, I don't like pressurized baskets and I know, I know you don't. I know you're not a fan. So I'm really curious to see what we can, what we can do with it uh, when we take out that little valve. Okay. So I, I would say that, yeah, that little valve makes the pressure, right? It you does. You got to remove it. Hmm. Yeah. This little, white plastic thing here yes. and i think i have to be able to find some way to get this out without damaging it to be able to take this out and i think they do give you instructions so i'll play around so it'd be nice to kind of like twist top too it'd be nice yeah. but yeah it would be nice if there was an easier yeah. way to remove it but i imagine once you remove it you don't put it back in unless you uh unless you read the cost you know cautious let's see how oh, this will push no, it didn't fit. It's too big. It does not fit up. It's not big enough to. I was wondering if I could push it up, but it's not big enough. I mean, that's too big. And that way you wouldn't damage it. You know, of course, I'd probably just break the glass stir stick. That's all. Uh, probably chopsticks, huh? You want to try the chopstick? Yeah, I'm here. here so, by the way, for, uh, if, if you guys are just joining us right now, we are hanging out with the Bruce Papa. Uh, he's showing us. Uh, Coffee Jack from Kickstart. So they did Kickstart and Indiegogo, right? They did too. Yeah, I didn't know they did on the second one. Man, you know what? They raised a lot of money. Well, you said the first one, then they had how many followers? I mean, they, I mean, they they raised about a million pounds. Okay, million pounds or million euro. 
Yeah, well, this isn't, this is fitting in okay. This is, by the way, what I use to put in my niche to tighten down the, the NFC. So, uh, or this uh, bolt to hold the NFC. I'm trying to push this in and it does go in, but I don't want to damage anything yet. I'll have to read up on how to take this out. Because yep. they do advertise that you can't take it out. Oh, so, uh -oh. that's kind of it. Yeah, I mean, so it, you know what? But the 13 gram in, so 26 gram shots, it's, it's not satisfying, you know? Yeah, I know. It's a little bit more like the Pavoni, you know? The, La Pavoni. But I mean, at least La Pavoni, you're going to make a nice latte out of it. You know what I mean? You can extend right. that, you know? Right. And, man, that, yeah, that, I mean, that's an interesting unit there. So anything else coming other than that one? No, not really. I just sold two, three old threes to friends. So okay. based upon your recommendation, I got to try that one out a little bit. That's fun. That's a nice grinder. Uh, no, I don't have anything else coming in that I know of. Are you, are you going to buy some grinder down the road? Uh, no, not right no. now. I think I've got everything I need. So, Man, all right, Bruce. Thank you so and much. I don't, have the, I don't have the countertop. You do. This is all I have. Uh, you know what, Bruce? I mean, I'm I'm out of space here. <laughs> I'm out of space. Yeah. Well, okay. the... I mean, I mean, luckily this is not my house. Can you imagine <laughs> if my wife's gonna flip? Okay. Yeah, well, my wife, my wife is very tolerant because I make her yep. good cocoa in the morning. So. And she's oh, yeah. a good person. She's a good person. So. Well, I mean, but so so that is your kitchen counter, right? Yeah. <laughs> Man, you took a lot of space. Yeah, I took, well, she gave me the sink. So we have two sinks. I don't know if we can see it here. Okay. Uh, let me put it here and then I can spin Good. it around. So this is where I am. Yeah, you take a mm -hmm. lot of space. And she gave me this whole corner all the way over here. Wow. And then she gave me this sink. I love the sink. It's a oh, shallow man. one. A single sink. It's really nice. And then this is not my stuff normally over here, but I've just, you know, moved some stuff over. Uh, and then she has her sink. Oh, okay. So you do have a nice size kitchen. That's good. Yeah, it's a good size kitchen and refrigerator, and everything over here. Yeah. You know, and then you spin it around. What's really cool is you got this really open. Yep. Living okay. living room, you know, space, and then you get back to the ovens here, and then you come back to the yes, the resistance. Nice. There we go. Hey, hey, is that your mother grinder on the back? Yeah, right here. You you, you turn that into a single dose there. I did. Yeah. I like it. Oh, you love this. You know, I found I was trying to find a way to clean it out. Yep. That's the best thing to clean it out with. I know. <laughs> Insect sprayer. Man, that's awesome, Bruce. So you, you have any vacation plan line, uh, not lined up yet? We may go back out to San Diego for a okay. week or two. But that's uh, that's it. I've, I've got work to do on my house, and then I have to get ready for the summer. Don't no, have to for the boat. Get the boat in the water. Okay. Yeah, I sent you two more. I sent you a Saka and then another Napoleon co coffee. Yeah, yeah, you got two more bags there, so. Okay, so we got some people on the live chat right now. This one person, I'm going to shout out to Tulak, okay? Tulak is talking about my uh, setup here. Hold on a second. Yeah. You, uh, people ask me why I'm looking this way, because I'm going to show you why. I have my minor setup. Hold on. So I, I can read, read all your questions, okay, at the same time. Yeah, you see that, guys? That's the, uh, that's the reason why, okay? And I can see, you know, I can talk to Bruce and I can see your comment at the same time. That's the reason why here. So again, so this is a live streaming, folks. Okay. I mean, I mean, if you are looking for better video quality, you are in the wrong channel. You're in the wrong place. But I mean, we, we, we like just to hang out with people, you know, talk coffee. I mean, that's all we do here. So let's see here. All right, so what else? Let's see. I got some 
Uh, people love your kitchen, by the way, Bruce. Oh, oh thanks. This is my, my wife's a kitchen designer, so it yeah. better be nice. And I used to be a general yeah. contractor, so I built most of it. Wait, are you general contractor too? I used to be a general contractor, a computer consultant, so we had some things in common. I was a teacher. I was a HR director for public schools, I was a, and I was a counselor at one time. Man, you have a different careers then. Yeah, I get bored. And then, uh, let's not forget, you are the Lapaboni expert. And then, you know, when I retired, I decided to learn how to make coffee. <laughs> exactly. You are the lap And also, I'm going to shout out to Joe. Joe is on the live chat as well. Hey, Joe. And then, so if you have any question about DF, Joe's the man. Okay. Joe's the man. But, you know, again, go back to Coffee Jack. Man, I mean, I, I don't know. Personally, do you no. recommend? I, I know people are asking right now. Okay. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't purchase it yet. Yeah. I would. I would. If you really want my honest opinion. Yep. It's fun to play with. It's I like trying new things. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to abandon it yet because I like to try to see if I can make uh, things, you know, work better. And you know, I, the removing the pressurized part made me may make a big difference. Uh, you know, it's like a lot of honey. You're controlling a lot of variables. I know. Why did I, I start with water off a of boil? You know, is that too hot? Uh, you know, I, there's a lot of variables you have to play with. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I bet you, but if you're in the boat, if you're in some espresso, you don't have a lot of options. No. You know. But, you know, I bought a Micressi on the boat. I really like that a lot with when you have the CO2 cartridges. Yes. Have you, have you yep. seen one of those? Have you played with one of those? Oh yeah, I mean, I have some. I have some similar. Okay. Yeah, I have. It's called X Bar. Okay. Yep. Well, we should, one... do, we should do a side by side. I can do a my pressy, and you can do a an X Bar, and we can, uh, you know, see how they work. Man, oh yeah, my X Bar is sitting on that corner over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's do that. So yeah, let's do that something. Yeah, mine's on the boat. But I have another one downstairs. I bought several. So. Oh, so you bought two? I, I bought a bunch of them. They were like a friend of mine wanted one. I bought one cheap, and then I just kept buying them for a while. They were like a hundred bucks for, and they were being yeah, yeah, they're discontinued. Yeah, and so you know they're go for more money than that if I ever yeah. want. Yeah, so. they're very interesting one. Yeah. Very interesting. All right, Bruce. Thank you for joining us. I see you next time. Okay. Yeah. yeah thank you very much. Okay. All right. Thank Oh, uh, hold on. Bruce, uh, people are asking me which coffee machine you have. Uh, 2004. Uh, that I've modded up like crazy. Yep, yes, you did. I have a Las Baziale Luca from yep. Clyde Coffee. This is, I love this machine. I just love this. This is, it takes no thinking. And when the days I don't want to think, I just use this machine. I use it a lot for steaming milk, too, because it's great. Those are the two machines I have out here. I mean, that's pretty small, aren't they? That's not mm -hmm. that big. Oh, this one? Yeah. No, it's not. no it's the, these are the uh, Vivaldi. You yeah. Know, they make several different versions of the same machine. Uh, I, I really love it. It really works nice. Yeah, we that's great. Work. We should do some shots back and forth with some time and pull, up, pull one on here. Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, definitely. And then we should make some coffee as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Talk to you soon, Bruce. Thank you. Okay. So that's the Bruce Papas uh, hanging out with us for today. He's showing us the Coffee Jack from Kickstarter. So again, uh, it's it's not that it's not a game changer. Let's put it that way. Okay. It's not a game changer, but I mean, I think Bruce agree. We we would be but again, he's gonna give some more thoughts on it, more spend some more time. Now give it a second try and third try. Hopefully you're gonna get some good shot out of it. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a if wonderful else, have a pour, Hold on. I have a great pour over stand. <laughs> okay. Oh, but, okay. So so one last question. So that one you you have to pay extra for that, right? Yeah. Man, it's all extra. Goodness. Yeah. All right, guys. Works great for the Oreo, wherever it is. Like that. How much for that stand? I don't you know. Yet, I bought it. I mean, it's been so long ago since I bought these things. 
Yeah, you know, what? I mean, I mean, I that looks. I mean, that stand looks really good, though. I yeah, you know, all the stuff is nice quality. I mean, nothing's. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, Bruce. Talk okay. to you next time. Okay. Bye. Okay, so that's the Bruce Papas, everyone. All right, see you guys next time.